Hey folks, this is part three of the Moria Speedruns video production notes. So we're getting a little bit farther with the desktop in this video. It looks a lot more like what you see in a regular episode. Yeah, um, what else can I say about it? I don't know. Um, yeah, hope you like it. And uh, there's another part at least coming after this, so enjoy this one. Hey folks, here's where we're at now. Well, uh, you can see the main screen here looks the same. No changes there. Um, but there is something new going on. Uh, first small thing is that when you exit the game, this window does not disappear, <laughs> which is good. Um, yeah. So all I did to get rid of that is... Among other things, I put a uh, an invocation to bash at the bottom of the Start Moria script. This stuff up here uh, takes a little bit of explaining. Before we run the game, <clears throat> we get rid of our save file. Um, yeah. And that's because we're running stats. <clears throat> we're getting stats on all the games... And one of those stats involves the uh, monster memory, so it counts how many monsters we've killed. Anyway, uh, so what this does is it gets the latest game, checks to see if we're alive. <coughs> Excuse me. And if we are alive, then we we bring that as our save game before we start. Uh, otherwise, the uh, will make a new character without a monster memory of the previous game. So the counts, what we killed, will uh, will reset to zero. So that's that. Uh, the other big thing <coughs> is the stats. Let me just get those here. What's going on here? Didn't I just... So confused. There it goes. Ah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we have this script here, copy save games. Uh, I just move that out of generate stats. So what it does, it takes whatever games we have saved here and it moves them into a directory of the time T of now. Uh, let's just get rid of those because we didn't do anything. Okay, and when we run when we run generate stats, it's going to make some uh, videos and it's going to make some stats. Let's see what that looks like. It's going to take a while. Um, you just don't run generate stats. You have to run it on a uh, particular directory, and that has a bunch of uh, it's like five minutes worth of saved games or so. And away it goes. This is what the output looks like. <clears throat> it takes about six minutes, so we'll be back when it's done. Okay, it's done. Or almost done. It's asking me a question here at the bottom. How many of the latest directories do you want to highlight on the leaderboard? Well, we're making a leaderboard. Uh, we're having ranked stats. So if uh, we're not on the leaderboard, highlighting it means that we're going to show a, uh, a score that doesn't make the leaderboard, if that makes any sense at all. So if we just hit enter here, it will uh, take that, take the latest one. So um, now we've made all these... Uh, pages. Let's have a look. That's the first one. And what it's going to do is it's going to show us a recap of this game in statistic form, in graph form. So let's have a look. Oh. What's going on here? So, not bad, eh? So these are all actually videos. It's 
what it looks like. As you can see in this one, we uh, just stayed at 50 feet until we get to the end and then we went back up to the town. We can see our experience points growing. We have hit points. All these uh, are actual videos. Yeah, Ooh, we went down to three hit points there. So yeah, there's armor class, gold pieces, and so on. Get down to the bottom here. And look at that. Here's how much time we spent in the dungeon. How much in, in game time. That's not our time, that's its number of days. And so on. Pretty cool, eh? This score down here is the score that Moria produces. That's the same as the scoreboard. So yeah, that's that. Now let's have a look at the stats it makes. Here's a sample one for armor class. Now I, I just put in some fake data here. It normally just shows the top 10. But in this case it shows a uh, an 11th down here because we have it highlighted. Let's just, um, we'll just quickly run this again. Okay, actually, no. Yeah, we'll run this again. Bear with me here. We're just going to up our AC level to, like, 5 and run that again. But we're not going to do all those videos. Bam. Huh, that didn't take, did it? Why? Oh, because it recalculated it. One second, bear with me here, folks. There you go. Ugh. There you go. So uh, when we appear in the leaderboard, we get a little check mark beside our name. Not bad, right? I might do something with the uh, the leveling there, the the spacing. Anyway, that's where we're at. That is uh, the update for um, this uh, Mario Speedruns, what it's going to look like, if that makes any sense. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.